Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Barry and today I'm playing some RimWorld. RimWorld is going to be released in a few days on Steam as Alpha 14. And uh, this game is a sci-fi colony sim driven by an intelligent AI storyteller inspired by Dwarf Fortress and Firefly. Generates stories by simulating psychology, ecology, gunplay, melee combat, climate biomes, diplomacy, interpersonal relationships, art, medicine, trade, and more. So there's enough for us to go and explore. Now, uh, we are going to start a new colony, obviously. And uh, this is something that is new as of Alpha 14, and that is scenario. So uh, let's see. This is the basic scenario that you have started out with uh, originally. So you would crash land and uh, get out in the open. I think I'm actually going to try my hand just on that. I'm, I'm not going to go on the uh, other scenarios. Might do that in the future, but I'm just going to go with this. I'm not too good at the game yet. So we're going in with the base builder uh, difficulty. Not too hard, not too easy. At least not for me. And uh, we've got different storytellers which will uh, basically enact different missions. And there will be different uh, events occurring. So... Uh, Phoebe Chillax, uh, if you want scaling difficulty in uh, missions. Randy Random, if you want to just screw yourself over and um, get behemoths crashing at the beginning of the game, for instance. And there we got Cassandra Classic, which is just normal difficulty. Just to, well, what you would expect from challenges to skill. So uh, that is the one we are going to choose. The seed I'm going to make, um, Babylon. There we go, because we haven't created a world yet. And um, hmm, where do I want to settle? Well, I don't want to settle in the desert. Although maybe I do want to. No, no, no. We're just going to go with the temperature, uh, temperate climates. And not in a mountain. We're going to go somewhere in the hills. Uh, that'll be the perfect place to crash land, I think. As if you could choose where to crash land. Per definition, you could not. So we've got da Dahlia, uh, Samantha, and Aaron. Three women. Believe me, if you were to start a colony with three women, you would have a problem. You would have a problem. They'd fight in ten minutes, believe me. All right. The three of you awake in your cry uh, crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to escape. Uh, get to this escape pot. Sorry, I can't can't read before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Right, very nice. And there we go, the escape pots we just escaped. Uh, let's see which character of ours is best at shooting. And I think that's Samantha. Yeah, Samantha, so we're going to give her the rifle. See if anyone's uh, proficient at melee. Yeah, I guess Eren is um, the best in using the melee weapons. And in that case, we're going to give Dalia the uh, regular alt pistol. Assign all these goods to be uh, collected. Now, obviously, we cannot collect stuff if we do not have a place to collect ev er everything. Luckily, we can as uh, assign such zones... And I think that we started at a, a fairly decent place. Fairly close to the rocks. Uh, I don't see too many... Too many uh, ruins ne nearby. Yeah, I'm going to choose this site. Uh, that'll be good. Uh, let's assign some orders. Now, first off, we want to zone some stuff. So we're going to stockpile. Um, I want to make these... 13 times 7. That's that's the general uh, the general uh, length and width I uh, use for that one. And then we want to grow some plants as well. Because if we do not do so, we will not have a food supply. And we will simply die uh, over the course of the winter. So, obviously, we need to find ourselves a place to also uh, store these foods so that they don't decay uh, during the winter, like I mentioned before. Let's go with a corn plant here, because uh, we have a potato plant by default over there. 
some cotton plant that will be useful to make some uh, clothes. Some heel root. Oh. Well, that is uh, too bad because we don't have growing uh, skill level 8. I don't think that was a requirement before. But that might be because of the alpha 14. I guess it's good in a way. In the other one, uh, it kind of renders this field useless. Uh, can I make some strawberries? Yeah, sure. I can make strawberries. And uh, I would have to guess that the uh, that the grower or the farmer is going to level soon enough. So that's going to be fine. And what I want to do first is I want to make a hallway here. Um, yeah, two, two by 14. Is that how I'm, how I'm going to do that? <laughs> I, I don't suppose you guys know. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to uh, mine like so. And then we're going to attach some rooms to that. Now, how big do we want to make uh, a living room? This is not where we're going to live. This is where we're going to sleep and such. Yeah, I think this is a, a good size. We can uh, put down quite some beds like so. And the very next room we want to make over there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're, we're, we're just going to uh, play the game. There we go. And our colonists will uh, be assigned to their tasks automatically. Let's see. Colonists need treatment already. Without it, she might die. What is it she uh, is suffering of, though? Vomiting. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no kidding she's vomiting. It's probably because she's not feeling well. All right, I want to uh, get that storage soon because I do want to have a place to store meat and such. That way we can start hunting. Oh, Delia's sick too. Okay, I know where they're sick of. They're... <laughs> Seek from their crypto um, sleep. All right, that makes sense. It could make you a little bit sick, I'd say. All right. Uh, no colonist is idle at the moment, so that does mean that we have enough work for them. Is Aaron's skill already uh, six for growing? Seven already. All right, in that case, I do want to change this back to heal root. Oh, no, we've got to wait until she's level eight. Well, that's almost the case, isn't it? We're getting close. <laughs> oh, look at that. We started out with a cat. That's nice. I I actually prefer to start out with a dog. I just like dogs better. But, I don't know. Dogs, you, you can do way more with dogs in this game than with cats. Cats are just, they don't do anything. They don't think anything. My God. It's even simulated in the game. All right. Let's see. Growing seven. Well, let's focus on that field first then. No, we cannot. Well, that is too bad. Oh, we've got heel root selected over there, so that's fine. She'll start growing heel root as soon as we can. So that is a start, I guess. Uh, we don't have a, an idle colonist yet. Although, I'm wondering what she is doing. Wandering. All right, you might as well uh, hunt some bu uh, bucks, <laughs> some ebax dough. And I will assign some sleeping places. Uh, yeah, we can't really assign actual beds as for now, so I'm going to assign just regular sleeping places. And anyone can just sleep there. And uh, we'll, tr we'll try to um, get this night over with. Oh, and as for storage, I haven't selected everything that we could. See, I don't actually want food and such um, collected over here. That is what we're going to make inside of these uh, mountains. Have a nice little storage room. For foods and I, I guess medicines too. Uh, where do we see medicines? I don't even see men. Oh, probably on the manufactured. No. Yeah, medicine. There we go. Let's uh, deselect that. 
And uh, these corpses should be uh, collected as soon as we have some storage place for them. But we don't have storage for uh, corpses at the moment. Which also reminds me that we do need a, a butcher's table to be able to butcher those animals and actually get their meat. Uh, refrigerated spoils in two days. Hmm, that's not too good. Can we assign someone else to uh, mining as well? Yeah, okay, two people are already assigned. I'm guessing that... Um, who is it? Aaron or Dahlia is already uh, assigned in growing up plants, but they seem to be working together now. Probably her, her growing skills are probably not good enough yet. Let's see, growing seven. And so close to. Well, in that case, go and make some strawberry plant there. Focus on that until she's um, she's level eight, which is. Yeah, there we go. That was already level 8. Okay, and um, we're going to change that to heal root. Because I do want to uh, have my medicine. There we go. That is absolutely great. And now I'm most curious as to what... Um, let's see, not Dahlia. Samantha is doing. Oh, probably hunting, as I assigned her to do. She's going for a walk. Oh, that bear, that bear is eating the corpse that I shot. Well, you're most welcome. At least she had some practice, I suppose. <laughs> Which does increase your level. Let's see if she actually actively gets shooting experience. Yeah, but that for every shot she fires. That's very nice. <gasps> Turkey! That's good. Yeah, we could actually domesticate those animals. Oh, let's see. We've got an idle citizen among us. Let's also hunt some turkey in that case, then. And uh, maybe she has got uh, constructing assigned? Which would mean that she could build us a bed. Uh, let's build three of those over there. There we go. And having a, uh, an animal sleeping box, that would be neat as well, I think. It would be nice to have our cat sleeping in the same room. <laughs> it actually wouldn't. Believe me, it's terrible. Uh, should we have a table? Over here. I guess we could, but we... Um, probably should place something that we um, can actually use to produce stuff. Let's see. A butcher table. That wouldn't be a bad idea. It is going to mess up the entire room. Quite literally with blood and such. But uh, I'm not going to mine too much. Let's see. We've got a fuel stove which is going to cost us some steel. I'm quite confident that we have that though. Yeah, we do. Alright. Um, the thing is now, though, we don't have a nice floor. And people people are affected by how uh, a room looks. Look at that. Uh, let's see. Oh, we don't have a door yet. So it's, it's not regarded as an actual room yet. Let's uh, add a door. It's probably a good idea. There we go. And I also want to assign... The area that's going to be used as storage for food. Um, there. Okay, that should be a good um, should be a good area for food to be stored. And the inside of the mountain means that it's it's going to keep a little bit cool, I think. All right, so if you toggle this on, you can see uh, actual actually what the room is all about. So it's stats. It is, at the moment, repulsive, impoverished, rather spacious, hideous, and very dirty. So, oh, wait a minute. Why did the construction fail? I've not seen that before. Construction 5. All right, she is the best builder that we have, though. How is the construct? 
construction failing. All right, all these new things that I haven't seen before. All right, let's butcher creatures. Uh, as much as we can, as many as we can find. But for now, we'll just uh, assign so many. Let's deconstruct these beds. Otherwise, they're going to use those sleeping spots, those primitive sleeping spots to uh, sleep. And that is not a good thing. And we got a fueled stove, so we can actually cook turkey meat, which is uh, very neat. All right, let's uh, assign to cook as many of those as we can. But we're going to have to wait the night, um, which is fine, because our storage room for food is not done yet anyway. And we're going to hide our corpses and such as well over there. And uh, you can actually collect body parts. That's how crazy the game gets. You can collect p body parts of people. Quite impressive. Alright. Have a, 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 a dough. Cut up. <laughs> Very good. I think that your cat uh, starts eating that food as well. Uh, now one thing that we can do is we can train our cat. Uh, although, oh, no. Okay, cats can't be trained. They have no intelligence. You know, it's not my words. But this does confirm my thesis of cats not thinking anything. And uh, basically being useless. Very useless. So we might as well, you know, uh, slot of the thing. Although it, it, it does bring some enjoyment into someone's life, I, I'm supp uh, I suppose. Because people actually get happy in this game when they have a pet around where they're um, where they're bonded with. So I guess that's a good thing. Let's uh, put a door there just to make it a room, and you know, just just to make this uh, room more bearable, I guess, for our colonists. I'm gonna uh, lay it down with some wood. And we should probably also assign a little area where we could dump uh, chunks and such. Because I do know that they are currently not allowed over here. Let's see. Clear all. And we're going to allow chunks. And chunks are used to uh, build uh, stones and such. I do want to have them collected in one uh, place, preferably. Uh, let's select all these um, chunks. And all the things. That way they're going to get um, rid of by this room. Or by our colonists from this room. <laughs> okay, we got a visitor. Let's see what this visitor has to offer. We could try and trade, but I don't think that we really need anything at the moment. At least nothing that we can use. Uh, that we can't get another time. There's nothing urgent going on. All right. Um, we don't have this selected as a uh, as a food collecting place, so I'm going to do that right now. Storage, clear all, and we're going to dump corpses there. Body parts, you know, I'm, I'm just all happy with that. <laughs> I'm all fine with that. Uh, let's see, and medicines. There we go. All right. We could actually um, get another storage inside for other goods because it's not only food that can get spoiled. Um, I think clothing and such can actually get ruined and, 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 and all uh, as well. So, yeah, we might want to be careful about that. All right, so as we're waiting, uh, this thing, uh, this, these things are being hauled. Uh, we obviously want to prog uh, progress because... Our eventual goal is to leave this planet, which I haven't mentioned before, but <laughs> our eventual goal is to build a ship and leave this planet. So what are you going to do for that? Well, you've got to research some stuff. And the best way to do that is to build a, on the production, a research bench. Nothing too, um, too complicated. A simple research bench will do. I think it suits well over there. There we go. And that will be worked on as soon as possible, I assume. And I do want to clear these trees, actually. Let's uh, give our colonists some orders. Cut these plants, will ya? There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, I want to chop wood. That's, uh, <laughs> that's a different command. 
There we go. You never can't have, or well, you never can have too much uh, wood, I'd say. And the very next thing that we want is electricity, because as it says right here, we need defenses. And the best way to do, or to get defenses, is to build some turrets. And how are you going to operate turrets without electricity? Well, short answer is you cannot. So, uh, the uh, easiest source of power, I would say, is uh, solar, the solar power. So, we're going to actually work and uh, get ourselves some solar generators. And I would say this is a neat spot. Then, we would need a room inside to keep some batteries to save our power. Visitors are leaving. That's fine. Go your own way. That's good. Uh, let's see. Power. We got battery over here. Now, that seems about good. Gonna build some wooden walls over it. We do want to have this endeavor uh, covered, obviously. Oh my god. Now, actually, I want to have it uh, one bigger so that we can have uh, room to walk. If that makes any sense. There we go. And I wanted to have two batteries, like I said. There we go. We should probably also uh, connect the solar panels with the batteries. So that the energy can actually be stored. Can be brought to the batteries and be stored. Uh, we do seem to have uh, ample metal. But we don't have as much uh, wood actually. And I think that is due to... Well, me laying a floor there. That's entirely made out of wood. But also because of uh, construction failing. Which I haven't seen before. It might be because it's... I just never caught on to it. But it could be, it could be some other thing as well. And... Before I forget, I probably want to uh, lay down a campfire. Uh, inside? Yeah, inside. Uh, that way we can actually cook... Oh, wait a minute. We already have a, a, a fuel stove. I'm just being silly here. We already have a place to uh, cook some meals. See, it feels like I have uh, not selected meals over here. And that is because I have not. Okay. Since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Aaron thinks that you should give this community a name. What should it be called? Well, I'll call it Babylon, because, well, creativity. And there we go. Uh, I'm so creative. All right, let's add another bill, and I want to cook as many simple meats, uh, meals, sorry, until we have all this meat cooked up. Now, right now, uh, as you might be able to tell, it's not refrigerated. So, uh, this whole lot will spoil in three days. This is uh, one reason uh, as well why we would want to uh, get ourselves some electricity. Uh, we want to refrigerate this uh, room. Or rather, actually freeze the room. So that the temperature gets below zero. So that is get frozen. And basically, food in that condition will never spoil. That's going to be a good thing. And since it's inside, it, it won't be um, it won't be possible for wildlife to get to our food and corpses. And uh, oh, nice, we got some scrap uh, or steel slags lying around. Let's pick those up. There we go. That'll uh, that'll yield us some steel. And we've got the pile. Ugh, we we only need this more power conduit, and then power will be collected as soon as we have this solar panel. But no, I can't just have to be silly. Uh, Alright, so uh, as soon as uh, that's done, we're going to put down a cooler. Space already occupied. Ah, yeah. We're going to get rid of uh, these walls and place our own walls. I think I'm going to replace those with uh, steel walls all around them. I don't know why, but it just feels like you would, uh, you would use a steel wall for uh, a cooling area. An area where you freeze stuff. Uh, so, we are going to select the steel wall. And there we go. And uh, like I wanted to do before, I'm going to place the cooler right there. Have the heat side uh, <laughs> up over here. 
Because we don't want heat going inside. That would be terrible. But this will allow us to um, freeze up the place. Although, we do want to have some power running uh, that way. Otherwise, we, pro we wouldn't be even able to cool the place. Even if we had a cooler. Alright. What time is it at the moment? Well, not real time, but <laughs> Rimworld time. I never can tell. But it seems to be late. Um, Alright. So, let's manually select the temperature. And we're going to make it minus 2 degrees Celsius. Because that's the temperature at which um, food starts to freeze. Don't ask me why it's not 0. Um, it is 2. Minus 2. That's how the dev made it. All right, she ain't got nothing to do. Well, I got good uh, news for you. There's a lot of wildlife around, and you can hunt it. Actually, let's see. Now there are some uh, some uh, beasts that you want to be wary of because they do retaliate once you attack them. But basically, now uh, the hunting season is set. We have a room where we can store our foods, so we should never really worry about um, about uh, having our food spoiled. We can uh, fill this up as much as we need to. Uh, and we want to be careful that we uh, do keep um, uh, cooking enough meals. Because you don't want people eating raw meat. They don't really die from it, but you know it, it would be better to have a better meal. I see that this is not being, uh, being worked on. The tree's being cut. So let's see who is assigned... To do that. Plant cut. Erin. I am most curious as to what her, her priorities are at the moment then. And we probably do want to uh, build a door over here. Otherwise it won't make uh, a roof over this. And this will be just outside. So when it rains, the batteries are going to be um, uh, having some shortcuts. No. Yeah. Whatever. We're going to get some power shortage. And we really don't want that. There we go. Got the roof made. Heat research project. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so let's select ourselves some research. And I would say... I'm always very, very um, intrigued by the hydroponics. Because this will allow us to grow crops inside, but I don't think it's a priority at the moment. We don't really need to do anything. I could research that we could make some weapons, but... Nah, we're going to go with uh, stone cutting because I want to... I want to get rid of these... <laughs> of these silly chunks. I want to make them into actually uh, actual processed stone, if that makes any sense. So we can uh, make beautiful walls. And since our miner is not doing anything, I uh, guess mining some iron wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's mine this area around the refrigerator so that we can replace it with uh, metal walls. I don't hope that uh, too much... Uh, well, I, I guess I could shut this down. For now, at least. A Wanderer joins. Very nice. We got ourselves a nudist. <laughs> Vector Kingping. Uh, let's check him out. He's hunting an alpaca, so he's actually also focused on that hunting mission I sent uh, Samantha on, dear Samantha. Let's see. Shooting four, but he has got a burning passion for it, so he's a quick learner in that regard. And he's got a burning passion for cooking. A burning passion for cooking. Well, that seems suitable. Uh, he... He has a nice social skill. I would say that I do want to recruit an animal, but I don't see, let's say, a dog or anything nearby. Can we find ourselves a nice little animal that we can dom domesticate? There's some rats, but that would be disgusting. I got a bear there, but I don't think a bear wants to be domesticated. Well, you know, let's get a little uh, hare. 
0.5% chance. Has may attack upon a full taming attempt. In that case, don't uh, attempt in doing that. Hmm. Oh, a turtle! That's a nice animal. How is the chance so... Oh, is that the chance at which they... Um... Not what they get recruited at, but the odds of attacking you. Yeah. Okay, okay, that is not so bad. <laughs> I thought that was the odds of uh, failing. Or succeeding, rather. Alright, we've got some uh, bodies lying there already, which is very nice. Let's cover this area up with uh, structures once more. And now we can enable the uh, cooler once more. Now it actually makes sense. Oh, it seems like I missed a little bit, a bit of the wall. There we go. And there we go. Uh, low food. Yeah, that is because we haven't uh, actually butchered these animals. So let's go and butcher some creatures and also cook them. And it seems like we are missing a bed for our new wanderer. Which is unfortunate because we don't really have room in this, uh, in our main building uh, anymore. I mean, eventually I want to get a separate bedroom for everyone. But for now, that's just not feasible. So we're going to put a bed down right there. There we go. And Vector made it. He can sleep in it as well. There we go. Uh, Vector is idle. In that case, I do want to hunt some extra um, animals. There we go. An alpaca, I suppose. <laughs> Separate hairs. Good, good. And a doe. At least we have enough to do then. But right now, the, uh, uh, the colonists are sleeping. How far into our research are we? Alright, good. Wow, he's got a, a bad aim at best. But he already leveled up because he's got a burning passion for it. So let him miss. He keeps getting better anyway. <laughs> oh my god, he is a ter he's got a terrible aim. I don't hope he um he gets so bad at shooting once intruders come here. Uh but hey. Mm, oh, Okay, they change it so you have to research building turrets, which I guess is neat. It makes more sense, actually. Uh, auto doors you could have, uh, you could also uh, use before. In that case, I want to um, actually focus on getting turrets, gun turrets, microelectric basics. So, okay, that's going to be the next uh, research that we're going to do. And we've got a raid on our hands. Doug. Okay, so that there, there are a few things that can happen. We can either kill that guy, or what could happen is that he's in, in, incapacitated, so that we can um, capture him. And that actually would be neat. So I'm, I'm going to uh, lay down a foundation quickly. Which will allow our, our prisoner to sleep there. Uh, if we were able to catch him then. If we are able to catch him. Where's the beds? <laughs> On the furniture, sure. Okay. And he'll get a wooden bed. That's fine. You guys go get it. Um, I'm not going to be worried. He's going to come here. It's a matter of time. You're going to have some extra practice before the other guy comes. And who's our builder? Construction six. Okay, Aaron Lang, you go and uh, prioritize building. Because I want to have that done before the crook comes here. Is he nearing already? Doesn't seem so. Oh, there he is. He's still waiting. So we get a pop-up once uh, he actually start moving this way. 
But we're going to set this uh, bed for prisoners. So this is a prison at the moment. And it seems like the first shots were fired. Hang on, where's Dog? Did he get killed by wildlife? Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. Okay, I guess I wasn't paying too much attention then. Let's fire at him. Uh, the cat is already working at that. Let's draft uh, Aaron as well. Melee attack. Doug. Oh, my God. Should have paid uh, closer attention, I suppose. And melee attack until we get closer. I'm going to do the same with uh, Vector. I don't think he'll be able to survive. Although, our colonists are very bad at... Um... Our cat has died. You bastard. Alright, he's not dead. Oh, oh, he's downed. Okay, good. Um, We're going to capture Doug. No worries. We'll be able to use him in our colony. And I guess we're going to butcher our cat. We might as well. She slash he, I don't know what it was, is dead anyway. So hmm. right, let's undraft uh, everyone so that they can uh, continue doing their daily job. Ah, Dahlia was the one who was bonded to him. All right. That's too damn bad. Oh, she still drafted. Oh, that's not good. Doug Winger is no longer incapable of walking. So, um, our colonists are going to chat up with him. And there's going to be a base chance of recruiting him. Let's hope that we uh, can recruit him. That will be very neat. We're going to get him access to basic medicines that we've grown ourselves. And we're going to set our mood to chat and recruit. So, we'll uh, actively pursue to uh, recruit that guy. And, uh, yeah, I guess that is enough colony building for one day. Uh, I hope to see you guys around. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, have a good one. Cheers.